Family, friends, remember Ocean Woman fatally shot last Friday night. As Marion County Sheriff's Office detectives continue their investigation into the shooting death of Osceola Woman on Friday night, family, friends, and neighbors of those who knew the victim gathered at the spot where she fell after being shot for a candlelight vigil. More than two dozen people, most of them children, stood side by side in an empty grassy lot where they consoled each other and released balloons into the sky. The vigil was held at Quam Ram, a housing complex located off Country Road, a County Road, 475A, not far from County Road 484 in Osceola on Saturday. Family and friends at the event identified the victim as Ajaki Chantrell Owens, more commonly known as AJ. The sheriff's office has declined to release the name of the victim. Neighbors who were with Owens within seconds after she was shot said she gladly fought for her life while lying in the grass. Lauren Smith, one of the several people who rushed to Owen's side, said she performed chest compressions on the 35-year-old mother of four until medical personnel arrived. Neighbors said Owens was shot once in the upper body close to her right shoulder. Hours after emotionless Owens lay in the grass, Smith says she still dazed about what happened. I'm pretty numb, she said. Family and close friends of the single mother said her children, three boys and girl, ranging from ages 3 to 12, were her life. Were her life. They said she wasn't a violent person, but instead was kind and loving and would do anything for her kids. They added Owens worked two, sometimes three jobs to revive her and her children. Now, deputies said they were called to Qual Run shortly after 9 p.m. Friday about someone shot. Arriving at the scene, deputies said they performed life-saving measures on the woman. Medical personnel took over patient care when they got to the location and transported her to a local hospital where she was pronounced dis un unalive. Authorities did not say whether she was shot how many times or given the possible reasons for shooting so far. No one's arrested. The investigation into the woman's shooting is ongoing, Debbie said. In a similar cases, law enforcement officials typically complete their investigation, then present it to prosecutors for review before charges being filed against someone. Several neighbors interviewed by the Star Banner said multiple children were playing in a grassy lot close to one of the du duplexes at the time of the shooting. A lady living in one of the buildings came outside, took a tablet belonged to one of Owen's children. The woman then threw an object at one of the children, they said. Sorry, I'm just waiting for more, you know, okay, here we go. The neighbor said Owen's child told the woman he was going to tell his mother. Owens, who lived across the street, went to the woman's residence, wanting to find out what happened. They, that's when Owens was shot by the resident. Smith said she was sitting outside when she saw one of the Owens sons pacing back and forth. She said he repeatedly yelled that his mother had been shot and was lying in the grass near a large tree. Neighbors said the shooter was in her residence when she when she fired a shot from inside. The bullet went through the front door and struck Owens' residence, said. A bullet hole came be seen in a woman's door. Friends and family said they want justice done for Owens and her children who are staying with family members for the time being. Those in the neighborhood said the shooter left not long after firing the fatal shot. For those of you that don't know who I um that don't know what's going on, there's a woman named Ajay Chantrell Owens, mother of four. Who was unalive by a white racist white neighbor over her ta over her son's tablet in front of the kids. 
Now, there's a TikToker. Her name is Jai Riggins. Um, she tells everybody what happened to her cousin. And the thing of it is, is that all she did was come into this, this, this woman's house, wanted her son's tablet back. And unfortunately, they shot her deleted in front of the kids. Now, I'm going, I already did an update about the situation. The cousin even said that they hired attorney Benjamin Crump. I don't understand why. Well, we really know why, but I'm going to continue saying what I have to say. So they hired attorney Benjamin Crump for her, fa her as a family's lawyer. So it looks to me that they're going to plan on going after um, the woman. Now, remember, the, the, now the woman who did the shooting... They have not identified her, but the but the um but the Oshawa Sheriff's Office knew who she is, and they still haven't charged her as of yet. So right now, and this is from Oshawa Star Banner. Right now, hopefully that the family is still going to fight for AJ to get justice for her and her family, because at the end of the day, this incident shouldn't have happened. She was the mother of four, and now the four kids just lost their mother. And I'm going to tell you something. This is mainly the reason why we need to seek justice for her, because Oshola, Florida, uh, a lot of people are going to say, well, they, I mean, the, the woman who did, the white woman who did the shooting, could you stand your ground? But realistically, AJ wasn't even a threat to her. So I would be shocked if 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 the Ajala as a Asala Sheriff's Office is going to use Daniel Ground Law in her defense, which is ridiculous. So there you have it. That's the story of what happened to a, a Jackie Chantrell Owens, aka AJ. Um, I will give you more information, news coming out, but this is what really happened to her. And I I found this information. From the Asala Star Batter. So let me know what you think about this in the comments. And I'll talk to you in the next video. This is Lionsden signing off. Deuces.